Hello everyone, my name is Megan Cruz. I'm the librarian here at East Georgia State College and today we'll be going over how to find resources in the Westlaw database. To get started, let's go to our EGSC website, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and under Campus Resources you'll find the library page. So you'll notice that we've updated a little bit, we've decluttered stuff. If you ever need any help, you can ask a librarian, which is our live chat, or you can send us an email, give us a call, stop by. For today, though, we're going to be exploring how to search solo on Galileo. So you can do it all by yourself. Uh, first things first, I do not recommend putting on your search terms in the discover bar. You are not going to put in what you're looking for, a couple words, and then find exactly what it is, very first results. That's not how the Discover Bar works. It's a little bit more convoluted than that. So for the purpose of today, we're going to be searching our Westlaw database. Uh, it's pretty simple to use, especially for this project. We're looking for specific cases. So we can just go here to cases. Again, you have a lot of options to narrow down what exactly you're looking for. You can go by federal cases, state cases. You even have cases by topic. But for today, the thing we're going to be looking at is cases by state. So let's say we want to search all our Georgia uh, state cases. Again, we got to narrow it down again, all Georgia state cases. And you notice as I click up here is changing. So we're searching specifically Georgia state cases. I do recommend using our advanced search tool. So let's search for firefighters. That'll be our topic for today. As firefighter. The reason I like the search tool, uh, especially the advanced, advanced one, is the dates. We do not want any articles before a specific date. So as you see, as we put things into our advanced search tool, it's building it up here. So we're going to go ahead and search for that. This is just a general search. You can get more specific about it. If you want to look over here, you can narrow down your filters, you can pick a topic for your criminal, civil, employment, and labor. And then if you want to start looking at our actual cases, the little blue box is going to be very helpful. It's going to tell you this is labor and employment, this is litigation, and then it's also going to give you a very brief little snapshot of what this is about. So it tells you the case name, what court it appeared in, the date, and then the number affiliated with it as well. So if you want to click in here, you're going to see all that information. I definitely recommend checking out the synopsis. It's going to give you some background on it. Uh, it's also going to have the holdings and then some notes as well, as well as some little links to link you out. For if you happen to find something that you particularly like, or even if you don't like it that much, but you think it's going to be useful to you later on, I definitely recommend coming over here to our delivery options and emailing it to yourself. A lot of people like to print or download, and I think that's great. But email, not only do you have a record within your email, you have a record of the time that you sent it, the time that you found it, uh, exactly the entire record of this as well as the citation so I definitely recommend email is a great way of keeping track of your research. Now this is a really great database for finding legal court cases that sort of thing. I do recommend though if you are having trouble another good way to go about it especially if you're having some trouble understanding some of the legalese in it is you can search for newspaper articles. So these are a good way for finding court cases and they just give you a brief summary of the circumstances. Again, I do not recommend the discover tool. It's not that great. This time we're going to browse by type and if you search newspapers, these are some databases listed that are going to be really good for finding newspaper articles. So let's type in firefighters. This time let's be a little bit more specific. So let's look for firefighters, cancer, and since this is not a legal database like Westlaw, I'm going to recommend that you put in an extra search term. So something that we know is going to bring up court cases. Firefighter, cancer, court. So very first one, Las Vegas firefighters breast cancer related to work. 
and it's telling us about a case in the Nevada Supreme Court. Uh, and if you scroll through, the thing that you're going to want to be looking for, because again, we're looking at these newspaper articles, not specifically to cite for our work, but so it gives us a little bit more background so we can find these in our actual court case listings. Uh, we want to look for the person who is following the suit, so it's Robin Lawson. We know it's in Nevada, and another good thing to look for is the judge. So over here, the court and it's a decision written by Justice James Hardesty. So that's going to be great for us to look for. I'm going to take us back over here, and we want to look at cases. We're going to Nevada. Okay, and then we're going to go to advance. So again, Advanced is amazing, and when you actually have the state selected, you get a little bit more background. So we're going to look for Robin Lawson, and we're going to look for this judge. And we should be able to find our court case pretty easily. So, Judge, James Hardesty, it's in Nevada, we're looking for Robin Lawson. And you're able to find it right off the bat. This is wonderful. We've got the whole synopsis, the holdings. You scroll down. It's got way more information than you have over here in the newspaper, but we were able to find it very easily. So these are two good resources for you for looking for your court cases. And good luck with all of your assignments. If you ever need any help, please don't hesitate to contact us in the library. I love getting requests from students. It's what we're here for.